Trey Sense here. How's it going? Listen, today I got somewhat of a review for you, but it's more or less my opinion more so than it is a review. And what it is, it's, it's four fragrances that I feel like have stood the test of time that anybody that wants to start a cologne collection or add to their cologne collection or just if you're a cologne collector, I feel like you should have these four fragrances in your collection. And most of us have had them at one point or another, whether we still have them or not, we have had them at one point. But these are fragrances that I feel like have been around for a long time for a good reason, and that's because they do exactly what they're supposed to do. They're also inexpensive, and they're easy to get your, your hands on them, and they're easy to wear. And I know some of you are probably going like, what do you mean easy to wear? Some fragrances smell good, but they're just not easy fragrances to wear, like, for example, Angel Man. I love it. It smells good. But there's not a whole lot of occasions that you can reach for Angel Man. It, it's not a cologne that you can wear in the summer. It needs to be cold weather and preferably at night because that's just when it just seems like it's in its best element. But these fragrances are the complete opposite of that. They're easy to get your hands on. They're inexpensive and they smell good. All right. I'm going to get right to it. The first fragrance that I feel that everybody should have in their cologne collection for whether you're a serious collector or just beginning, is Dracar. See it? Yeah, Dracar. This fragrance has been around for years. I think think they made it first in 1985. It's just a great smelling fragrance. It smells nice, clean, masculine. Um, a little bit of lavender is what I pick up on. A little bit of spice of some sort. A little, a little bit of citrus, but not a lot of citrus. Basically, just a nice, clean, fresh scent is what you're going to get out of this one. Um, I think I paid $13 or $14 for this bottle. And you can't go wrong at that price. You know, you may not get a ton of compliments, but nobody's going to tell you that you smell bad either. And it's a nice, masculine fragrance. It's not anything super fruity or super fresh. It does smell nice and clean, but, you know... I don't think anybody's ever been criticized for smelling clean. So that is Dracar. If you're going to start a cologne collection or, you know, you're serious about collecting fragrances, this has to be in there at some point. And I think anybody that's ever had any type of fragrance collection has had this bad boy in there. It's a good one. You can't go wrong with it. it smells nice. Smells clean. Moving along. All right. The second fragrance that I feel like deserves to be in everybody's cologne collection, one way or another, is Cool Waters. See it? Yeah. I love this stuff. Again, 90s powerhouse, but just a great smelling fragrance. I think this should be in everybody's collection because it's versatile. You can wear this to work. You can wear it to the gym. You can wear it out on a date. You can wear it to a wedding. You could honestly wear this stuff anywhere you wanted to wear it. And nobody's going to be offended. Uh, it smells amazing. It's got good performance, good longevity. It does everything that a cologne is supposed to do. little story about that one. I picked that one up at Burke's Outlet. It was on sale for $22. With That's a 4.2 ounce bottle. Um, and it came with the 3.4 ounce aftershave. And it was on sale for $22. I get up to the counter and it's half off the 22 So I ended up getting that bottle, that 4.2 ounce bottle and a 3.4 uh, ounce bottle of aftershave with it for like $12. And I was ecstatic. That is a great fragrance to wear, especially this time of the year. It's starting to get spring. It's nice outside. You know, you cannot go wrong with Cool Waters. It is a, it's a great fragrance. It smells good. And again, it is very versatile there's not an occasion that that fragrance won't smell good and won't do what it's supposed to do again cool waters don't overpay for this you know you can get a lot smaller bottle for under 20 bucks but for 20 dollars it is a great fragrance and you can't can't go wrong you can't go wrong with it. it's just a good fragrance all right moving along to my next one this fragrance again came out in the 90s I think it's a very underrated fragrance. I think it is the reason that we have so many fresh fragrances in aquatics today. Um, 
I just I just feel like it's it's a, it's a I don't want to use the word masterpiece, but I feel like it's a gem of a fragrance, especially for the price that you can pay for it and get it. And it is none other than CK1. Yeah, CK1. This is a very small bottle, but I just purchased a huge bottle of this. Huge bottle of this. It's a 6.7 ounce bottle, and it came with a um, moisturizing lotion. 6.7 ounce bottle. I got it at TJ Maxx for $18. Now, this one I think I caught on sale for three or four dollars just to add in my collection and put with my travels, but my little travel sprayers or whatever. Um, $18 for a 6.7 ounce bottle of this. And this is to me summertime in a bottle. It is a great fragrance. It's very bright, it's very uplifting. Again, it's a very versatile fragrance. You can wear it on a date. You can wear it to church. You can wear it to the office. You can wear it to the gym. You can wear it just hanging out. You can dress it up with a suit and tie. You can dress it down with jeans and a t-shirt. And CK1 is going to do what it's supposed to do. It's a citrusy, aquatic, with a little bit of woods in there. Just a great all-around fragrance. It is unisex, so anybody can wear this. But I don't think there's an occasion, again, that this fragrance won't work for or work in i mean it's just to me it's a powerhouse of a fragrance it's a workhorse this is a staple you know and people have been wearing this as their signature scent for years and they've been doing so for a reason because it just smells nice simply put there's no other words you know to describe it inexpensive can get it anywhere and that's another thing about these fragrances the reason that i feel like they should be in everybody's collections is not only are they inexpensive, but they're easy to get. You could probably go to Walmart right now and pick up all of them. And that says a lot, you know. Or you could go anywhere online and get them. Not that, you know, getting fragrances online is the best way to go. For some, it is the only way to go because you can't really get them. But a lot of people like to smell the fragrances before they purchase them just to make sure that, you know, whatever, that they're what they're supposed to be or they smell like they remember them or whatever. So, you know... Sometimes being able to run out to Walmart or TJ Maxx or somewhere and just pick up a fragrance is is the best way to go. But again, this is another gem that I feel like needs to be in everybody's house. And I don't feel like it gets the the love that it deserves because I feel like it started. I feel like this fragrance started a movement that we're still in today with the citrus aquatic type fragrances. That's CK1 unisex. Great fragrance. Pick it up. Add it to your collection. Last but not least is a fragrance... Man, I think it came out in the 80s, but it is a powerhouse. It is one of the longest lasting fragrances that I have on my skin, on my clothes, or whatever. This stuff lasts all day. It is recognized like crazy. When people smell it, they know exactly what it is. A lot of people don't like it, but to me, I love it. It does what it's supposed to do, and, and it's very inexpensive. And again, it's really easy to get your hands on. All right, you ready? I don't know if you pronounce this jupe or oop, whatever, but it is jupe. I say jupe, so jupe, home. This stuff right here, man, to me, this is this smells nice. Now, don't get me wrong. This bad boy is strong, so you don't need but just a little bit of this. I've had this bottle forever. You see, it's almost empty. It's time for me to re-up, but I've had this juice for a long time, and... I like it. This is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. I wore it in high school, you know, fresh out of high school, and I've, you know, been out of high school a long time, and I'm still wearing this bad boy because it smells good. It smells good, you know. I think it's better suited for the winter, but you can wear it in the summer. You just, you can't, this is one you cannot overspray. Again, you can dress this up with a suit and a tie. You can dress it down with uh, blue jeans. I wouldn't necessarily wear it to the gym, but any other occasion that I think I, that you could think of, I think you could wear this fragrance. I think you easily wear this on a night out, on a date, especially in, at nighttime. It, that just the coolness of the night. This bad boy is gonna come to life. Uh, definitely could wear it on a date. You definitely could wear it to the office. Again, don't overspray this. If you get this, you're gonna wear it to work. Don't overspray it. Because it's, it's going to be there all day. You don't need but a little bit. But it's a very versatile fragrance. 
very inexpensive. And again, it's one that you can pick up just about anywhere. And anybody that has a cologne collection has probably had this at one time and may still have it. Great fragrance, um, especially for the money. Very versatile fragrance. I love it. It does what it's supposed to do. Um, and it's it's recognizable. It is recognizable. When people when people smell it, they're gonna be like, he's got on juke or oop, have whichever one you pronounce it. So all right, man, that was a lot to take in. Hope you stayed to the end. Again, that's Drakkar, CK1, Cool Waters, and Jupe. Those, I think, are four fragrances that everybody should have in their fragrance collection, especially if you're a beginner, because you've got all occasions coverage. You've got fragrances that don't smell anything alike, but fragrances that you can wear on any given occasion, any time of the year, any day whatever you got going on those fragrances i feel like will 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 cover you i think you'll be just fine with any of those fragrances Whew, man that was a lot to take in thank you guys for, for for tuning in and for listening um you got anything you think i should uh review or you know, anything you think i should get my nose on or any inexpensive fragrances that you that you have in your collection that you need think i need to know about or you know, want my opinion on, leave it in the comments below. And if I don't have it, I'll try to get my hands on it. Uh, chances are I have it. If I do have it, I'll I'll give it a spin and, and review it. And we can sit down and we can talk about it. Anyway, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, peace.